what's up ladies and gents we are in the Paris Auto Show we're gonna check the new Jeep fully electric model that's just premiered so without further ado let's just jump into the review hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Paris Auto Show we're taking a first exclusive look at the new Jeep uh, Avenger this is a fully electric Jeep uh, and there's a lot of cool details in it so let's move around and check the details so we have a nice gold or sort of yellow metallic color we have beautiful daytime running lights and jeep performance led headlights there's a lens inside there you can see that you also have led fogs and we have a gorgeous black well it's not a grill it's closed since it's electric but uh, gorgeous front so it doesn't really say it's electric because of this black piece we have the jeep on the top and we have here an E. Uh, someone, some of you might recognize the E symbol. Uh, Peugeot uh, and Jeep has uh, collaborated in sharing some parts. So yeah, uh, over here you can see uh, unpainted plastic, gray and silver tone. So this is good when you're off-roading, a little protection for your clear coat. Some of the cool details Jeep added here. This was designed something in Italy or some coordinates, something like that. I didn't remember the story, to be honest. Uh, you have parking sensors integrated there, air intake at the bottom, and a little bit here on the top for the coolant, uh, AC, and so on. And you also have this cool detail here, uh, Jeep signature. If I back up, you can see the whole car. Now, there are so many cool details and check out this inside just beyond the Jeep performance this little excess cool details now we also have details like this there's a lady stargazing the stars over here so how cool is that you also have another Jeep logo there in the speaker cluster now you have the lane assist camera you have the light and range sensor there now moving over here to show you the beautiful alloys I like this this is uh, diamond cut silver on matte black and you can see the Jeep logo they also gave some details on the alloys as well now these are 18 inch alloys so 215 55 R18 these are Goodyear tires these seem some, like some sort of, uh, it says electric, but I've never seen this pattern of tires before. Again, black fenders and protection at the bottom. You can see here also Jeep, a little plastic that popped up there. This is for moving when you're lifting the car. Avenger there, and you can see turn signals, there's a little bottle light there with deflector, and you can see the blind spot warning there uh, we have black roof combo there's a silver model there you can see if we back up you can see the profile of the car it looks stylish for an SUV you love the alloys once again tinted windows on the rear now on the back doors this is the opening mechanism on the front you have this and on the driver's side you have the physical cylinder you can press to lock or touch from the inside to unlock Moving to the rear, you have the shark fin and you have the little spoiler. We're gonna back up so you can see the car in the frame and at this angle, so it looks quite nice. Now, coming uh, closer to the uh, lights, you can see like an X also to the design and inside again, Jeep uh, detail there. If we press here, you can see the uh, charge port outlet there's an AC and DC combined so there's that you can also hang them here little rubber thingies that covers that still will pause they're trying to take a picture here so a lot of people are excited for the new cars Paris Auto Show has been closed during pandemic but finally it is back again now you can see here uh, fenders a little sticking out because of the tires you see that there are almost sticking out now uh, we're close to the wall here so you can see the rear uh, not really the fuser but 
it is what it is another badge here and you can see here led lights back and camera press here to open stoplight is integrated inside press now i'm gonna switch to wide lens so over here you can see the cargo space and if i come a little bit closer i'm gonna zoom back in so there we go spacious cargo space you knock down seat 60 40. now there's a little shelf on the top hard top which you can remove on the top also check out its details jeep you can press here to close or adjust the height there are rubber stoppers so this doesn't make a ding sound and checking here not a flat uh, bottom just like two fingers of height there's a false floor now over here we have a grocery hook and the rest is plain and then on the left side same with one cold led light it's a little compartment there probably to uh, unlock the charge port in case it uh, gets locked now uh, you can see those uh, isofix rear tether points if we take this up you can see you could lower this down and then get extra like four fingers and those two fingers like to this loading area in there now you can of course take this out all together you see that you can also put it like this so it's upright position and then over here you can see you have a patching kit a uh, little bit space but not a lot inside so press to close and there's another angle at the beauty so let me just back up here a little bit so I can get also a nice thumbnail there and let's get inside so solid opening and closing sound although the car is shaking a little bit when you close the doors doors open fairly wide have double ceiling on the top and Jeep you can see some torque screws there kind of exposed you can put your key here and turn it to lock from the inside for the kids you can see Roman 5 is factory tint there hard plastics on the rear hmm. speaker at the bottom now let's see if we can knock down the seats seat belt is in the way so let me just adjust that now you can see the cargo space and how that looks inside I know there's a lot of lights to so serve for that nothing I can really do and uh, checking the bottom part look at this there's actually some uh, space in the floor usually it's more flat because of the batteries now over here we have some leather textile combo with contrast stitching and you can see this from Peugeot you can unzip this there's an isofix point there now some textile in the color of the vehicle matching there jumping inside uh, okay feet room maybe tight knee room it is a little bit tight on the back if you're a taller person uh, there's some pockets there and you can see one USB-C no AC vents now there's no transmission tunnel but this is quite high maybe they've used that space for batteries this is soft soft seats are nice and wide and let's hear the closing sound Okay, it uh, doesn't sound the best, but the window is open there. So, two meter tall person, 6.6 6 in feet. There's actually, I can straight up my back and my head. I'm touching maybe with my hair, but it's actually quite roomy on the back, despite the uh, tight knee space. But I was sitting in the front and I adjusted the seat for myself. I have that in mind. There is no uh, rear armrest. And there, of course, you can adjust the headrest. So if I lower them down, you can see the view on the back. And you can see nice big windows. Maybe this is a little bit blind spot there. And there's also a cool detail I forgot to show you there. There's mountains. So a lot of cool details. Uh, they really try to maximize the space here. You can see that. And there are little LED lights. There, there are touch lights. And now a little view at the front. And it looks gorgeous. 
So let's get on the front. And before we do that, you can see not adjustable seat belts and there are no handles or hooks on the top or the B pillars. Now let's get on the front. So the uh, window is down, but let's see here. Closing sound is okay. I think it could be better. Now the front door is open wider and let's see here same seals now on the front also hard plastic they were really saving a weight here maybe to get more range you can see that there's a little bit uh, leather here and it's slightly padded not a lot there's a rubber mat here so it looks okay you can lock the windows for the rear all are fully automatic i believe yep let's see if the rear window goes it goes all the way down so that's a nice uh, feature now the front window I can actually raise it up uh, they're not double glazed so let's hear the closing sound once more so that sounds more solid definitely and checking here uh, we have manual seats so push this up to slide back and forward up and down tilt uh, don't see the lumbar support though interesting that is some cloth here so they have leather textile combo and uh, these are actually, uh, I believe, Peugeot seats, but they've uh, changed the headrests. You can see the Jeep here as well. It looks quite nice. Nice big headrest, feels comfy. Uh, you can see also carpets, automatic. We're gonna pop the bonnet later. Uh, parking sensors off, downhill assist, light beam height, and another Jeep detail. I love the ambient lights, gonna match this gold interior color and steering column is underneath here manually adjusted you can see the top now let's jump inside and close the doors okay there is a slight rattle sound when closing the doors now i have um now the, the rear door and the trunk is closed so let me see if i can adjust a little bit maybe a little bit down and we'll tilt the back okay so switching to wide lens and here is the point of view and it looks quite good now i like the front screen and this kind of short but still good enough screen i love the resolution and i like the, like the fact that you have physical controls here so let's zoom back in now checking the steering wheel first you have a nice textured leather it's a flat bottom so kind of sport steering wheel we have beautiful jeep horn uh, nice physical buttons all silver there no piano black okay cruise control uh, limiter assist phone calls uh, radio stations lists uh, uh, phone calls and volumes there uh, we have the light switch here and wipers there and then we have this beautiful screen it's quite sharp uh, it looks even good on the camera this is like painted plastic and hard plastic so they were really trying to maximize the range with lowering the weight of the car uh, you can see here also speaker and what i showed you there again the screen that we mentioned we have beautiful ambient lights also on the top there so the screen is closer to the top so your eyes are closer to the road for safety air vents are below you have hazards here and you can see them there it's a kind of weird sound it's like a bass or something like that but it's interesting uh choice of sound maybe you can change that in the infotainment start stop engine is here and here we have a home button so i guess this is a home button and over here you have the car menu and you can lock or unlock the car from the inside now moving at the bottom we have the volume knob you can press to I guess mute uh, you have ac controls you can see that go back here you can see those change you can press them up and down the automatic ac max ac i think it's just a demo it's not working actually and uh, front max blow rear defrost menu for the ac controls there and uh passenger there uh, over here you have the park reverse neutral drive and b4 recuperation brake and look at this this is amazing looking 
So this is leather, but this is magnetic. It's like smart cover from the iPad. You have Jeep here, it's a nice flint feeling. And you can see that, so, but the magnet's a bit strong, so I'm not sure if this is really practical. There are ambient lights below, you can see USB A and C, and a portable outlet there. You can also have changing colors, and also that X uh, down there, so it's kind of rubberized. So you can see actually the wireless charging pad underneath. And there's a little, maybe I zoom a little light and another thing there. Uh, electronic parking brake, driving modes. And over here, uh, someone removed it, it's in the other car. There's like two adaptable uh, like pieces you can put like this. And they serve as a adjustable cup holder. Cup holder. Uh, there is, uh, actually they're here. It's like someone removed them so they didn't know how to place them back, I assume. And they just left them in there. So there we go. Save them. So you can see you can adjust that and move them. And there's like a little space here in ambient light as well. We have the soft armrest. There is a button here, but I'm not sure if it slides back and forward. And there is a little space here. It's plain plastic, but it's kind of deep. And yeah, you can slightly extend, ex, excuse me, uh, extend the armrest. Seats are quite okay, I would say. And oh, look at this! I just noticed since it's black, there's a shade here. This is rubberized, so this is a nice big shelf. You can put some stuff here. Now, if we open this slowly, opening plain plastic, almost opens completely flat here. Look at that, and it's huge. It's just enormous, big space. So really surprised um, with the Peugeot, uh, excuse me, with the Jeep. This is not intentionally. There's so much details and shared uh, things. Moving up to the top, a good overview on the back. Baseless mirror, this is definitely from Peugeot and this whole top part. Uh, you can see here the airbag information and passenger seatbelt information. There are touch lights here, uh, so that's cool you have you can actually press twice to open huh I don't think it's working at the moment or maybe a hold no uh, it's a demo car uh, so have that in mind uh, emergency call and road assistance and on the top you have here a uh, documents holder and a uh, privacy mirror no light on the top this is some sort of a recycled material it looks like I don't know some sort of cloth and over here you can see this is not covered and it does not extend. Uh, on the front, plenty of headroom and I think the seat can go a little bit lower. So this way, this would be the lowest position. So plenty of headroom. And uh, now uh, you can see the hood. Uh, you can see good for the mirrors as well. Now uh, let's focus on the uh, cockpit in front of us. If you press here this guy you can see the trip computer trip one trip two and consumption now over here uh, actually let me see here if you press the here switch you can actually change the views that's what uh, that's what I was looking for so you can see the car you can see navigation music uh, trip computer you can use with the other stock and consumption or minimal and if you use the driving modes you can see, you can see here sport normal eco change this color sand mud and snow now the screen is really excellent looking in person and on the camera now, uh, these are for radio stations, as I recall, in Peugeot. Yeah, so it doesn't change the cockpit there. Let's check here. So this is our home screen. Uh, apparently, have multiple pages here. And I think you can customize these, of course. If you put three fingers, oh, it doesn't uh, bring you to the menu. Application draw, you can see here. Uh, by the way, there's a little protection film that hasn't been removed. Park assist uh, functionalities, 
So let's see here, uh, parking assist, close obstacle distance, traction control, speed limit recognition, uh, traffic sign recognition, driver attention alert. So some safety features there. And the screen is really sharp graphics. It looks amazing, to be honest. Let's see here. Uh, you can see sta sta statistics, charge, uh, energy flow. You can like hide that. Really beautiful graphics. I think you can see projection of the car. It seems like it's a front wheel drive. If you're pressing the car, I uh, think takes you back to the same menu I've showed you. And uh, you can connect here Bluetooth, sound settings, dynamic, uh, triple metal bass. You can play with those, I guess. Balance feeder, uh, reset. radio settings, um, you know, um, volume settings, and there's plenty of options there. The library playlist and so on. Now, uh, AC is really not working, it's super hot. So it's just like a demo, I don't know. Uh, you can see that, and uh, let me see here, there's a pull down menu, so you have a guest profile, you can have multiple profile if it's a family company car. Um, brightness, so I guess you can increase the brightness, privacy and Wi-Fi there. And you can see here connection, time, and so on. Navigation, uh, this is new Peugeot's navigation, so I thought it would be a full screen. I'll press here, and it's quite responsive. Uh, look at this, so it gives you a nice view. We're in Paris. Actually, whoa, this is a wrong location. So where is this supposed to be? Oh. Well, in Italy. Ah, I think that's where the uh, car is designed, so they, it's not picking live data at the moment. So you have here 3D. Of course, you can change here what you want to see. Uh, and you have here settings, uh, profiles, points of interest, and so on. I'm not going to go through that detail. You have here uh, white navigation. So that's cool. And to see here energy so it's the same menu so there is a way to customize this i'm sure there's a like clock faces press here nothing happens and applications energy high jeep settings so so you have here uh screen colors it doesn't seem like the menu is finished interior color so i guess you can change uh, the ambient lights, as you can see there, but it's not really changing at the moment, or the colors are not synced. Interior color, exterior animation, connectivity, system settings, English, you know, time, date, units, and so on, brightness, uh, cockpit brightness, okay, interior lights, brightness, vehicle, Vehicle lightning, welcome light, vehicle access safeties, allow automatic updates and so on. So OTA updates as well. So that's pretty cool. And <clears throat> so that seems to be it. So that was the full uh, look. Let's pop the front bonnet and check what's underneath so underneath the both E's you press up so you can see that and you can see the electric motor so when it closed uh, you know on car shows sometimes they don't want you to uh, check the demo cars interior but you saw the electric motor there was a washer fluid for the user and that's it uh, uh, again amazing looking uh, Jeep uh, Avenger. Uh, let's see the spec here. Uh, I'm really blown away to be honest. Uh, so we have the Avenger first edition electric 115 kilowatts of power or equally 156 horsepower. Uh, this is in France. So I guess this is the uh, monthly lease payment 250 euros. Um, maybe this is the uh, Car show price, 39,500, which is actually not that bad. Uh, it looks like we don't have English here, but uh, security comfort, 
Um, there we go. So here we have the uh, yeah, kilowatts, 115 newton meters, 260 uh, automatic transmission, of course, electric cars. Uh, top speed is 150 kilometers per hour, 0 to 100 is 90 seconds, so not so fast. And let's see here, what do we have here? So uh, charging at 11 kilowatts would take uh, 0 to 100% uh, five and a half hours. Uh, and charging up to 100 kilowatts would give you 20 to 80 in 24 minutes, which is not bad also. And uh, so charging on 30 kilowatts, uh, no, 30 kilometers per 100 kilowatts, something like that, so three minutes, not really understand that. Uh, let's see here length um, yeah this is the dimensions and we have here uh, volume 355 liters uh, cargo volume and 1067 liters if you knock down the seats uh, there's some mass of the vehicle and so on I'm just gonna do a quick walk around uh, the same model so you can just see a little bit different spec uh, we have here silver model we have black seats silver uh, inside there so you can see that so let's check the back so we are a little bit limited with the space here you can see it better from this angle so keep browsing the car uh, lights underneath are just for the show but you can see also contrasting blue alloys those details that we mentioned and it looks quite good but it doesn't end here. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. In this model, you can see you can just like pick this sticker uh, there. So uh, stay with me. We're going to the uh, this model. Now this is some sort of uh, off-road uh, Avenger. So I'm gonna tilt this so you can see it more naturally. You can see a different front bumper. Uh, it looks more sporty, uh, ready to go off-road. There are like details here where you can maybe uh, latch some point all of this feels actually it might be metal they've added that x symbol there you have this little triangles and you have additional led fogs on this model this is not piano black it's uh, plain unpainted plastic and you have the jeep in the same now over here you have some sort of air tunneling on the sides a uh, little fender sticking out also have this all-terrain tires and alloys these are uh, let me see if I can get that 225 65 R17 again uh, little details and over here you can see that as well Avenger in blue Jeep in blue now what's interesting you have uh, real discs on the rear so no drum brakes they're not saving on that and also you can see here little and here fender sticking out more aerodynamic you can see that and you can see the diffuser actually on this model you can see the battery pack through there and you can also see these latch points so apparently uh, for XE so this is an all-wheel drive so I can assume that this model has all-wheel drive so one electric motor on the rear and one on the front while the yellow model and the silver is only the front wheel drive <clears throat> excuse me uh, you can see inside details and if I back up you can see the profile of the car uh, you also have those maybe extra option uh, straps and they added a little car inside now I'd like to show you inside the camera to see. So I can't see the details if there might be something different uh, color-wise. You can see a uh, blue Jeep has seats, accents, so it is different. We don't have the price list for the off-road model, but uh, this is the premiere, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna uh, pop up sooner or later. And just to show you the um, great here so tell me in the comments how you like the Jeep and let me see if we can turn on the lights for you and show you those as well
So we got the front headlights on. You can see the daytime running lights on the top and the LED lens there. And let's see if we can turn on the hazards for you and maybe even the fogs. So let's see here, front and rear fogs. And let's turn the hazards on as well. So you can see the hazards in the side mirrors. You can see that the daytime running lights turn into hazards and you can see the LED fog lights as well. Let's check on the rear. Once again, gorgeous looking. So interesting, the X turns into a turn signal and you have the fog light at the bottom. So uh, I assume this stop turns into brake light. And cutting this in, not to forget one of the coolest details, smallest details, is this little ladybug here. So how cool is that? It's just on this end, uh, you gotta appreciate those details. If you want to see more from Paris Auto Show, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, there's going to be more cars, so don't forget to check that out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.